Hello guys, so we are going to discuss about the solution for this week's code question, coding questions. So I am going to uh, get you to the solution of Python language. So here is the first question. So it is given that the program must accept a string as an input and it would generally have, would have digits and some operators and you have to print the result. Uh, there is nothing but um, it seems like all the digits are um, what grouped together and all the operands are grouped together. You have to uh, combine all, each and every digit and operand and you have to print the result. For example, um, 6 and 7 will be subtracted from each other since the first operation is subtraction. And then the resultant will be divided by 5 and then the resultant will be added with 4 and the resultant will be subtracted by 2. So this is how it goes. So let me get into the process how we are going to implement this using Python language. So first let me get the input. So since they have given us we are going to get it as thing. It will be like input dot strip okay. and then and first we don't know uh, which bar will be the operands operands would be in the string it can be anywhere the length of string would be anything and the operands length will be anything so we don't know where will the operands will be so we have to find from where the operands will be starting for that and this iterating to the length of the in input given by the user for example for i in range of len of a so it seems like if it is a digit i'm just continuing to go on else um if it is a digit it will be obviously the operator we just need the starting index of the operator so say I am just storing the starting index operator in a variable called x and just breaking the loop. Okay. So now I am just giving we know the stop uh, starting of what starting index of the operators and before that all the characters would be digits, right? So um, before the operators we have to iterate now. Uh, so for I in range of um, things like okay one comma x when I'm putting one comma x is I'll just store the first number in some variable called um it will be some or it will be result or whatever the variable name you can give but that will be meaningful as int of zero since we have called every input as string i'm just converting to integer and the variable called j i'm just storing the first index of operator so if a of i no. um now we have to uh, manipulate the particular string based on the operates right we know the starting index of operators that is we have stored it in the variable called j so if a of j is equal to plus oops, i have to add with the previous result right so result plus equal to the present value so the present value would be a of a, int of a of a since we have got the in input as string we have to convert it every time so then if it is subtraction I have to subtract from the present value sub subtract from the previous value and if it is multiplication So multiplication equal to means it will multiply and store in the same variable that is how uh, 
star equal to or plus equal to or minus equal to goes like you know i so lastly if we didn't satisfy any condition it is nothing but the uh, uh what the divide operator so i'm just gonna divide okay and then i'm going to increment the index of the operator and finally i'm going to print the result save and run to make sure it passes the test case is given i'm just giving the same value over here yeah so let me run it again and check the next test case So this is how it goes. So we are gonna get the in string input and then I have to find the start index of the operator. So since I have found the starting index of the operator, before that the obviously the characters will be digit. So I'm just iterating from the first, um, like I'm just storing the first character uh, in a variable called result and iterating from the second character to the x index and based upon the uh, operators in each index i'm just manipulating the result and finally i'm just printing it yeah so let me just go on to the next bar next uh, question let's close it okay so the second question goes like this so the second question will be you have to accept two arrays as input and have to print the combining two arrays without any duplicates in a sorted manner. So first you have to get two arrays as input like B, A and B. So to get array as input, we will be giving us list of map of in comma since this is an integer array dot split. Since it is given like we have to get the input in a single row, I am giving like this. And the next array I'm getting in my variable called B. The same manner. And I have to combine these two arrays. And I have to print it without duplicate values in a sorted manner. So it will be like I have a variable called result. Uh, it is nothing but a plus b but i'm just combining it to our combined two arrays we are uh, we don't have arrays in python we have a, a list what we call is list since we are not using numpy uh, we just simply call list so when we have to combine two lists we will just do the addition operator and then to avoid the uh, duplicate values i'm using the thing called set and then i can't uh, apply sorted function on set so i'm just converting this set into a list and finally i'm sorting this particular list and i'm just printing the variable result hmm. just running it up so i'm just giving the same input in the test cases 90 space 9 plus space 6 5, 17, 21. So I'm getting 5, 6, 9, 17, 21. Yes. I'm just combining two lists in the sorted order without any duplicate values. Let me check the second test case. Uh, it's not 9, 9, 6, 3, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So yeah, it doesn't have any. Uh, duplicate values and it has combined and it is in the software one. yes so this is how it goes in this this week i hope you understand if there are any doubts you can uh, reach out in our, the discussion forum thank you